dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky, above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. Hello, story time friends, and welcome to online story time at your Grand Rapids area library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Teacher Missy, and we are delighted that you're here with us today. Hey, Teacher Missy, before we start talking about the most fun thing in the world that we're going to talk about today, oh, no. <laughs> should we sing? Let's sing a little song. Great right, story time friends, would you join us, please? Get your clappers out. Remember, you can clap anything. Clap your eyes if you want to. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. Oh, and I so want to hear a story. Hey, my friend, what do you want to talk about today? Well, you know, I get the itch every now and then to do this, this very activity. And if you look at our picture here this morning, what, what, what do we see? I, I, it looks like a family. Yep, and it looks like they're standing in front of a car. And, and what, they've got suitcases. So much luggage. Hmm. What do you think they're going to do? Oh, I think they're going to take a road trip. Road trip! Yeah! It's like my favorite thing to do in the world is to get in the car and just go somewhere. Just go somewhere. It doesn't have to be far. It doesn't have to be close. It can just... Nope, just go off to see what you can see. And you don't really need a plan. You don't. You can just go. As long as you've got cast in the tank. You That's just, right. And just, maybe some clean underwear. That's yeah. really all you need. Might need that. <laughs> so, um, my friend, do you have any good stories about road trips? <laughs> I just might. Miss Tracy? Yes, Teacher Missy? I have a really fun book. I hope it's about a road trip. It is about a road trip, and we talked about how fun road trips are. They're my favorite. I oh, know, me too. This is called Road Trip, A Whiskers Hollow Adventure, and it was written and illustrated by Steve Light. And I, I see on the front cover of my book, there, there's a, a, a little red truck with some animals in it. Oh, I see a rabbit, and oh, what's that? Oh, I think that's a bear. And then there's a donkey. I think that's a donkey riding a scooter. Oh, my goodness. Road trip. I guess there's all kinds of road trips. Let's find out. This book comes to us from Candlewick Press. Hmm. Road trip. How fun are they? Well, it was a beautiful day in Whiskers Hollow. More beautiful than a, a hubcap shining in the sun. Bear was out for a drive. Bear was a, a good driver most of the time. On this day, there was a little accident. Crash. Oh my goodness, he crashed into an acorn. Bear's old truck needed oh, a new headlight. There was only one thing to do. Bear headed to Rabbit's house. Rabbit, let's go. Road trip, called Bear. I need a new light for my old truck. I need you to help me find one. Oh, but it's almost lunchtime, said Rabbit. Oh, Rabbit never missed lunch or breakfast or dinner. We'll find a snack along the way, said Bear. I love Rabbit's tall, skinny ears. Bear and Rabbit arrived at Mouse's house. Mouse, let's go, called Bear. Road trip. I need a new light for my old truck, and I need you to help me find one. A, a road trip, said Mouse. Oh, I couldn't. Uh, just think what might happen. We we could get a flat or, or maybe run out of gas. Oh, no need to worry, said Bear kindly. We'll be together. Mouse liked being together with Bear and Rabbit. Still, it was scary. But Mouse ran inside to get something to eat. 
first aid kit, and you never know. Then he hopped back into Bear's truck. Okay, he's ready to go now. The three friends arrived at Donkey's place. Let's go road trip, said Bear. I need a new light for my old truck. Can you help us find the way to Elephant's old junk tree? Donkey knew the way because Donkey loved junk. Follow me, friends. And there goes Donkey on his little scooter. What are they trying to find? Right, Elephant's old junk tree. Well, they came to a bridge. It was long and wobbly. Oh, I don't see any snacks, said Rabbit. <laughs> oh, that looks very rickety, said Mouse. Oh, follow me, friends, said Donkey. <laughs> Just down the road, they came to a tunnel. Oh, it was dark and thorny. Look at here's the tunnel they're going into. Looks like some kind of a bush. Well, you can't eat thorns, grumbled Rabbit. That looks very prickly, said Mouse. Oh, follow me, friends, said Donkey. Finally, they arrived at Elephant's old junk tree. The tree was filled with old car parts and lots of rusty treasures. There were tires and tricycles, a guitar with broken strings, a motorcycle and lots of wrenches, even hubcaps. Look at all the stuff that Elephant has at his old junk tree. They knew just where to go for parts. Bear found some lamps. Mouse discovered a, a caution sign. Donkey dug out a compass. And Rabbit, Rabbit found snacks for everyone. But they could not find the right headlight for Bear's old truck. Well, they were disappointed, but decided to enjoy their time together. Donkey stood up to go. Then the junk started to shift, and Donkey started to slip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I wonder what's happening here. Sploosh! They all fell down right into a huge mud puddle. Oh, no, Miss Tracy, what a mess. Look at them, they are full of mud. There's bear and there's donkey. And oh, rabbit's kind of hanging on at the end there. And mouse, oh, mouse is losing a grip on his little first aid kit there. What a mess. Bear was covered in thick, gooey mud. Rabbit stumbled and slid, but held on to the snack. And Mouse was hopping and skipping and, and having a very good time. Hello, help friend, yelled Donkey. Who's he talking to? Yeah, there's, there's the elephant right there. An elephant knew just what to do. Oh my goodness, what does he do? What do you think he's doing? Yup, he's shooting water at him. I think he may have gotten that water out of that barrel. I wonder what that's going to do. Oh, well, and there in the mud, oh, they saw it. The perfect headlight for Bear's old truck. Look, they found it. Awesome. It was time to go home. Oh, that was fun, said Mouse. Well, I wouldn't steer you wrong, said Bear. And we'll be back in time for dinner, said Rabbit. Where should we eat? <laughs> oh, follow me, friends, said Donkey. And there they are having supper together. They made it work, didn't they? Did they find the headlight? They found the headlight. Wow, taking a road trip can be quite an adventure. Hey, story time, friends. Hey, Teacher Missy, yes, are you ready for flannel board time? I love flannel board time. It's one of my favorites, too. So if you can see, we have how many cars? One, two, three cars. And we also have a big old mud puddle. 
And we're going to talk about what happens when your cars go through a mud puddle. Oh boy. All right. This song is called Clean and Dirty Cars. Are you ready? Here we go. Go. Not car. Here we go. Okay. Three. Oh, <coughs> teacher Missy looks like she's looking for words. I'll help her out. Okay. Fly, teacher Missy. Here we go. Three cars so squeaky clean, shiniest you've ever seen, wanted to go up for a drive. Beep, beep. One drove into the mud, spun out with a great big thud. Now there's only two clean, shiny cars. What happened to our car after it went through the mud puddle? I know, it's filthy dirty. It's a mess. Kind of looks like my car right now. I was going to say, my, that red one's going to look like mine. <laughs> All right. How many cars do we have left, friends? That's right. One, two. Good counting. Two cars so squeakily clean. Shiniest you've ever seen. Wanted to go up for a drive. Beep, beep. One drove into the mud, spun out with a great big thud. Now there's only one clean, shiny car. Beep, beep, beep. What's going to happen to this guy? Let's find out. One car so squeaky clean, shiniest you've ever seen. Wanted to go up for a drive. Beep, beep. It drove into the mud, spun out with a great big thud. Now there's no clean or shiny cars. Let's go home. Oh my goodness, it's incredible what a mud puddle can do. They'll have to find a car wash. I think so. Thanks for playing. Oh my goodness, Miss Tracy, I have got another really fun story. I can't wait to hear it. This is about another road trip. <laughs> I just could read road trip books all day. Oh, I'd love to hear them all day. Rattle trap car. Hmm. This is an interesting looking thing. It's got people sticking out and things sticking out and birds flying over. <laughs> Rattle trap by Phyllis Root and illustrated. The pictures were done by Jill Barton. Missy. Yes, ma'am. Phyllis Root lives in Minnesota like we do. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Our author lives in Minnesota. That's kind of a cool thing. A Minnesota author. Hmm. And she wrote about a rattle trap car. And this book comes from us, to us, I should say, from Candlewick Press. And we're going to find out about this. Whoops, rattle trap car. I just moved the book. I hope it's still okay. Are we still in? Okay. Okay. Oh, well, on no, this picture, I see kids everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these kids. And chickens. Hmm. Junie was hot. Jakey was hot. Even the baby was hot, hot, hot. Oh, let's go to the lake, said Junie and Jakey. Go, said baby. Oh dear, said Papa, I don't know if we can make it in our rattle trap car. It doesn't go fast and it doesn't go far. Oh, please, 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 cried Junie and Jakey. Go, cried the baby. All right, said Papa, we'll give it a try. So he packed a thermos full of razzleberry, dazzleberry, snazzleberry, fizz, and some chocolate marshmallow fudge delight. Junie took her beach ball. Jakey took his surfboard. The baby took her three-speed wind-up pedal wheel boat. <laughs> Papa turned the key. Brum, 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 brum. Clickety, clankety, bing, bing, pop. They were off to the lake in their rattle trap car. They didn't go fast and they didn't go far when booms. 
the tire went flat. Uh-oh. Never mind, said Junie. I know just what to do. She put her beach ball on the car and she stuck it on tight with chocolate marshmallow fudge delight. Hmm, I wonder if that'll work. Okay, good thinking. Papa turned the key. Brum, brum, brum. Lumpity, bumpity, clickety, clackety. Bing, bang, pop. They were off to the lake in their rattletrap car. Uh, they didn't go fast and they didn't go far when wumpity wumpity womp. The floor, the floor fell off. It's hard to go in the car without a floor. I, it's a little hard to go in the car without a floor, yeah. Never mind, said Jakey, I know just what to do. He put his surfboard on the car and he stuck it on tight with chocolate marshmallow fudge delight. He's putting it right underneath the car. Hmm. That was a good solution. Papa turned the key. Brum, 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 brum. Whippity, whappity, bappity, lumpity, bumpity, clinkity, clackity, bing, bang, bing, bing, pop. They were off to the lake in their rattletrap car. Oh, they didn't go fast and they didn't go far when Spitter, 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 spot. The gas tank fell off. Oh, no. My goodness. Never mind, said Papa. I know just what to do. He put the thermos full of razzleberry, dazzleberry, snazzleberry fizz on the car. And he stuck it on tight with chocolate marshmallow fudge. Delight, you're right. <laughs> Papa turned the key. Brum, 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 brum. Fizzily, sizzly, whappity, bappity, lumpity, bumpity, clickity, clackity, bing, bang, pop. They were off to the lake in their rattletrap car. Uh, they didn't go fast and they didn't go far. Went, uh, thunk a thunk. The engine fell out. Surely you can't go anywhere without Wow, I apparently not. Oh dear, said Jakey. Oh dear, said Junie. Oh dear, said Papa. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, they sat on the side of the road all broken down and hot, 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 almost to the lake in their rattletrap car. They're almost there. Junie shook her head. Jakey shook his head. Papa shook his head. The baby shook her three-speed wind-up paddle wheel boat. Go, said the baby. Go, go, go. Sheep are just looking at them. Do you think, said Junie, that is just, said Jakey, might work, said Papa. Go, said the baby. So they took the baby's boat and put it on the car and stuck it on tight with chocolate, marshmallow, fudge, delight. Papa turned the key. Brum, 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 brum. Flip it a flip it a fizzily, sizzly, whappity, bappity, lumpity, bumpity, clinkity, clinkity, bing, bang. They were off to the lake in their rattle trap car. They didn't go fast. They didn't go far. They made it to the lake in their rattle trap car. Junie was cool and Jakey was cool. Papa and baby were cool, cool, cool. All day long they were cool at the lake till the sun went down. Till the moon came up and they went flip it to flip it to fizzly fizzly whippity bappity lumpity bumpity clinkity clankity bing bang pop all the way back home in their rattle trap car. Isn't that awesome? I love that book. That would be a fun trip to take if you had fudge. Hey, story time, friends. 
Hey, teacher Missy. Yes, Miss Tracy. Anybody want to make a little noise? I love to make noise. <laughs> so friends, out of your story time kits, I would like you to find your shaker. And remember, if you don't have a story time kit with a shaker, you can make it out of anything. Here's just some dried beans in an envelope. And that works just as well. It does. I, that like, to, I like this one. Hand that one to teacher. Excuse me? Of course. Storytime friends, Zebra would like to join us today. Hello, Teacher Missy. Good morning, Zebra. Hello, Storytime friends. All right, Zebra, you sit right here, and you can sing along as we shake. All right? Now, we are first going to do one of our shaker warm-ups, and we haven't done this in a while. And you're going to have to listen very, very carefully. But the reason I chose it is because if you remember, at some point, we are going to drive our shaker like a car. Like the steering wheel. We're going to drive that all around. And that's why I chose this one. So the first one is called Shake Your Shakers. Are you ready? Shake your shakers in the air. Shake it here. Shake it there. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake your shakers. Shake it high and shake it low. Shake it yes, shake it no. Shake it high and shake it low. Shake your shakers. Here we go. Shake it up and shake it down. Shake your shakers on the ground. Shake it up and shake it down. Shake your shakers. Shake it near and shake it far. Drive your shaker like a car. Shake it near and shake it far. Shake your shakers. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Shake it, stop. Shake it, go. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Shake your shakers. All right, now we are going to shake our shakers to a new song. And this song is called Take Me Riding in the Car. And it's written by a very famous folk song artist by the name of Woody Guthrie. All right, and here we go. I just want you to shake along. And this is how it goes. I'll take me riding in the car. Take me riding in the car, car. Take me riding in the car, car. Take me riding in the car, car. I'll take you riding in my car. Here we go. Click, clack, open up the door, girls. Click, clack, open up the door, boys. Front seat, back door, clickety clack. Take you riding in my car. Engine, it goes boom, boom. Engine, it goes boom, boom. Front seat, back seat, boys and girls, I'll take you riding in my car. I'm gonna let you blow the horn. I'm gonna let you blow the horn. Beep, 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 honk. I'll take you riding in my car. There you go. And thanks for coming along with us. Uh, story time, friends. Teacher Missy, I had such a great time oh, today. No. Wasn't it great? Oh, so much fun. I like nothing better in this world than road tripping. So it was so much fun to watch the Whisker Hollow people go on their road trip. And the rattle trap car, I didn't think it was going to make it to the beach. But it did. It did. And they kind of got home, too. That was so much fun. And then our cars. Oh, they spun out in the mud and they got dirty. But that is a fun way to get a car dirty yeah. rather than just riding on the right. road. Right, right. Yeah. But now I think it's time to say goodbye. It is. You want to sing? Let's sing. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? All right, here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day and maybe a road trip. <laughs>